Hi, <laughs> I'm Gail Johnson, and my diagnosis originally in 2001 was ovarian cancer. And in 2013, it came back and it was like metastatic ovarian carcinoma. When I was originally diagnosed in 2001, it was basically I was having a bad stomach ache. And a nurse friend said, oh, you know, that could be something serious. You need to go see your doctor and everything was so fast. I mean, they had me, they had my port in in three weeks and I had, I was undergoing treatment within three weeks. Also, my daughter was 20 and in college and she literally said, I still need you, don't you go anywhere. And I said, okay, I promise I won't. So I, I made it through that, that time, that treatment and uh, had, 12 years without it. When it came back in 2013, it was devastating to both Dr. Joe and I. We, we, we were just like, we can't believe this is happening. So for a couple of weeks, I was pretty down. But, and I finally had that spill, you know, where I'm crying and the phone rings, it's a friend and she's like, and I can't speak because I'm so scared and she rushed right over with chocolate and wine <laughs> and in half an hour we we were laughing and and that was the day that I gave myself and after that day I said I'm gonna help work on my treatment they're gonna work on my treatment we're gonna do this together we're partners and the only way to do this is to do it positively and I'm I'm fighting so I got my boxing gloves out <laughs> They can't do everything for you. You have to decide you're going to do it yourself or it's not going to work. So I just wrapped my head around it. I didn't want to be doing this, but I'm like, if I am going to do this, I'm going to do it exactly the same way that I do anything else. And that's as good as I possibly can. So I, I just took control and didn't wait for everyone else to give me the answers. I went and found the answers myself. I have a great guy in my life and um, really wonderful friends and then so with medical team and my great friends and the things that keep me busy, river cleanup, making jewelry, you know, I have cats, so I just, you know, I garden and, but you just do everything in your power to keep, to keep socially active and you can't lay in bed being sick or you really will be sick. I'm not going to not do something now. I'm going to I'm going to do it. I don't want to waste my time. And you go through something like this and realize you can't wait any longer. If you're going after it, you better start today. I think the colors that I see are more vibrant and the risks that I've been taking are riskier than before. I'm more brave. So because what have I got to lose? Ha, ha, ha.